Asset Manager is a cloud-based digital asset management DAM solution. It supports a wide range of asset types including 3D models, textures, materials, prefabs, sound files and more. Drag and drop assets into the Asset Manager to build your own asset library. Organize your content all in one place with the Unity Asset Manager and instantly find what you're looking for. Once content is uploaded, metadata and content previews will be generated automatically, meaning your next asset is only a keyword away. In this tutorial, we will show you how to get started and make use of some of the core features. First, ensure that the project you are using is connected to Unity Cloud. And if you want access to external repositories, the version control is selected. To install Asset Manager, go to Window Package Manager, choose Install Package by Name, and then type com.unity.assetmanager for Unity. Click Install. To open it, go to Window Asset Manager. Click the Enable Project button to automatically enable this in the Unity Cloud. Open Unity Cloud. Log in with your Unity username and password. If you want access to external repos, click Integrations and connect to Unity Version Control. This will ensure all assets that you add to Asset Manager from Version Control repos will be visible in Asset Manager. You can also add other projects by going to All Assets and click New Project, then Enable Project. It will give you access to all projects connected to the cloud, both on your computer as well as repos you are connected to on the cloud. When users upload files to Asset Manager from the select projects, they will be visible in your Asset Manager. In Unity, you can add assets by dragging them into the Assets Manager window and click Upload Assets. Once completed, these appear in the Assets window. These can be imported into any project by team members connected to your repo from anywhere around the world. This is a great way to quickly share a collection of assets among team members. Asset Manager can work with large files and build massive content libraries without the worry of an unresponsive application. Tags and thumbnails are automatically assigned to assist with an easy search system. Metadata is automatically added that tells you if the asset is animated, is rigged, the vertex count and material count, etc. When adding assets, dependencies are automatically embedded. These are things like textures, materials, meshes, colliders, scripts, etc. You can choose to switch this off if you want to upload single files, such as a 3D mesh without textures or materials. By default, the upload mode is set to override files on the cloud. This avoids adding duplicates. However, if you do want to add multiple duplicates of the same files, you can choose Duplicate. Or if you want to avoid overwriting the files already uploaded, choose Ignore, and any files that already exist will be ignored during the upload. These assets are also available on the cloud where they can be downloaded or edited. To download an asset, you can either use the Quick Menu options at the bottom, or go to Open, then choose Files and click Download. This can be great for artists who need to quickly make modifications to an asset. To edit an asset, click the Edit button. Editing also allows you to make changes such as adding descriptions, changing the object name or adding a custom preview image. Extra tags can be added, pressing Tab after each one to assign them. You can add extra images by clicking on the Browse option. When you want to use one of these as a new image preview, Hover the mouse over this and click the star icon in the top left. This asset version will now use this preview. In this example, I want to leave a descriptive message for artists to modify this coffee pot with a decorative design. I will then leave an example decorative image to explain what I want. This also triggers Asset Manager to generate a 3D preview and images from orthographic viewpoints. Click Save New Version. Now both the original and this updated version are available on the cloud. You can also change its status to let other team members know that an asset is currently in review, or approved, or rejected, or published. This status is visible in the Asset Manager in Unity. You can also access all latest and older versions from the version section. Other team members can now begin importing these assets into their projects. Notice that all dependent files are correctly placed and the asset is ready to use immediately. 
Asset Manager features a search system familiar to Unity users. Click Add Filter to search by status. Here you can find published assets or assets still in draft. Search by type and select the asset type you need. Quickly find all assets created by a team member. Type in keywords to find file types or files by name. Click on the project to find all assets uploaded from that project. You can also see which items are currently in your project to help find other assets that fit with that style. In summary, Asset Manager allows you to collect your assets, including multiple revisions in a visual and easy to search archive. It makes it easy to share approved assets among team members working locally or remotely. You can use the Asset Manager to work with artists in preparing and storing game ready assets for upcoming projects. If you want to learn more about Asset Manager, check out the project webpage link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.